80% or so of my practice is gender affirming surgery. Um, so I do facial chest surgery and genital surgery. Um, but the majority of my practice and sort of where my passion lies is really genital surgery cases. So I do a lot of vaginoplasty and a lot of phalloplasty. I would just say they're expanding in either direction. <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of adolescents, um, presenting for surgical intervention, but also a lot of people that are like in their seventies, sometimes coming in for genital surgery and then everything in between. Um, but the, the adolescents for sure present some unique challenges. Um, obviously there's great evidence supporting pubertal suppression for a whole variety of benefits. Um, but the one thing that is very new is genital surgery in someone that has underwent pubertal suppression. Um, not so much an issue in um, someone with assigned female at birth anatomy that undergoes a phalloplasty because we're creating something with a you know, free tissue transfer or a flap anyway, but a much bigger issue for an individual that's undergoing a penile inversion vaginoplasty um, because we use all of that tissue to basically create the vulva as well as line the internal vaginal canal. And as a specialty, um, those of us that do a fairly high volume of genital gender affirming surgery, you know, we've maybe done a couple, a handful of pubertally suppressed adolescents as a field and no one's published on it yet. Um, OHSU is, we're just putting our first series together as we're kind of learning and figuring out what works. Um, but it's really changing things, um, because you don't have enough tissue to line the vaginal canal. So you either have to take a skin graft or take skin from elsewhere or use an artificial product. Um, the way that we're dealing with it is by using a robot and we're basically performing intra-abdominal um, components of the surgery. So we're using peritoneum, which is the inner lining of the abdomen to line most of the vaginal canal. And by doing that, that allows us to use all of the remaining tissue externally to create a vulva um, and try to make also an aesthetic result. 